Well, I've got Dr. Kelechi Aikude at, uh, on, the, on the show right now, a football analyst and also uh, an Arsenal fan. And of course, he features a lot on Arsenal Fan TV, and he is very popular, I must say. Good to have you with us, Kelechi. <laughs> my brother. We do come, my man. <laughs> Good morning, boss. Good morning. It's good. It's good. It's good to see you. you. It's it's good to see you. And of course, hey. we'd love to see you when you when Arsenal wins games, and most especially most especially when they get to lose some games. You also give us some fantastic analysis. But of course, let's talk about the club Arsenal. Were you surprised? Were to, are you surprised to see Arsenal in the final? Let's start off with that. No, actually. Um, I predicted the win against Liverpool. I know that's different. I predicted the win against Man City. Mm -hmm. Because when we play back three, especially when, in fact, when you're not in form and when you're in doubt, just play three at the back. Mm -hmm. Just keep your shape and you're going to win the game. You're going to frustrate your opponent. And uh, I remember an interview I did like four years ago, three years ago at Crystal Palace when I was shouting like Wenger, like play three at the back. Yeah. It's basic. Just play three at the back. And that's what Chelsea did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, to win um, uh, Manchester United, when you're in that, just play three at the back and you kind of have your shape and um, frustrate your opening. And that's what we did, and we did it really, really well. We took our chances, although we didn't take some of them in the first half, which was um, a bit frustrating. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we are in the final, and um, that's uh, another opportunity for another trophy. Mikel Ateta won trophy in his uh, first season, or first half season. I'll take that. Now, what was your reaction when you saw the scoreline 2 0 against Manchester City? Because I went to a viewing centre and someone told me the scoreline. I refused to believe that it was actually 2 0. But what was your reaction? I mean, we're just, uh, we're just happy. We're just excited. Uh, we watched it in a socially distanced place. But when we scored, the social distancing man disappeared. Right. <laughs> you understand? Because everybody was shouting at our game. It was, it was, it was a good one. Um, I think uh, Aubameyang, the first chance he missed in the first half, we thought that could come back to bite us or to haunt us. And then uh, he scored and then Mustafi's header. And we we're like, wow, wow, wow. Let's see, let's see. We had hopes. Um, second half, again, we kept our shape. David Lewis was exceptional. He's been uh, much criticised this season, but he was exceptional on the day. And now, as I saw, coming into the left-back position, you know, stopping Marius from doing anything. So... It was all good. It was all good. But that second goal uh, kind of a little bit killed off the game and um, we held on. So, yeah, it was, it was good. I was really happy. True. Now, looking forward to the finals, which will be on the 1st of August, what are your expectations from that game? Oh, well, I mean, I expect us to beat Chelsea. I actually wanted Chelsea in the final. Um, I felt Manchester United were kind of on the up too much, you know, with the Fernandez thing. Let's leave the VAR issues, you know. You know, they always get these uh, penalties and uh, mm. I think they had their 19th penalty this season or something. But they are, they are on the up and I was surprised that their manager changed his formation to a back three, to be honest. thought a back four, the way he has been playing was good, but um, I'm happy Chelsea won. Uh, yes, I know they beat us in Baku last season. We are on another revenge mission and hopefully... On the 1st of August, we're going to beat Chelsea. Mm. Now, let's talk about Arsenal and Arteta. Um, do you think that the manager, Mikel Arteta, has what it takes to attract big players when the transfer window opens? Because a lot of talk has been going on about players wanting to come to Arsenal, but it depends on where they finish this season. Do you think he has what it takes to attract these big players? Yes, of course. I've, I've actually, Arsenal as a club, we have what it takes to attract big players. It's a class club. It's a very big club in England. Yes, we don't. We are we are in a, in a position where we don't like what we are not supposed to be in. But uh, I trust Arteta. I trust the process. Um, he even convinced the players, if you remember, to take a pay cut. We are the only club in England, you know, that's taking a pay cut. According to them, due to coronavirus, we don't have money again. But yeah, it is what it is. But he has convinced a lot of players. I hope uh, he will convince new players like Partey to join. Um, and then buy the right players that we need in the right positions. You know, I'm not I'm not really a fan of marquee signings. Just buy effective players, just the way Liverpool did it. You know, just buy players that you need in the system you want to play in. And I believe that we can attract um, good and quality players. Now, talking about marquee players, now would you also agree to the fact that Kieran Tierney has been one of the best signings so far for Arsenal? Of course, of course, he's not—he's not even a marquee signing. You know, he cost twenty-five million. You know, and he's been 
exceptional. He's so humble and so on the money. You know, you can see him. He's, he behaves old school. You know, even the other day, you know, they were going to the game. Others were carrying Gucci bags. He was carrying a Tesco nylon bag with yeah. his stuff. You know, the guy just doesn't care. He just wants to play the game. And I hear that um, uh, he in training, he does really well. He takes training like a normal game and they tell him to like ease off a little bit. So I'm really happy for him. You know, he has been unlucky with injuries this season. Mm -hmm. uh, but glad to see him back and um, he's really doing well. True. Now let's talk about um, Mikel Arteta now because in, the, in a video he said that he doesn't want to beg players to stay. He wants players. He doesn't need to convince a player to stay. He wants players who are hungry to stay at the club and also who want to play for the club. But what, what would be your assessment of the manager so far since he took charge? I think he, he has done really well. Um, Discipline-wise, you know, with the case of um, Gwenduzi and maybe to some extent Ozil, you can see what he's trying to do. He doesn't take any nonsense, you know. Yes, he might be talented, but there's discipline in the club and you have to uphold those values of the club. Um, tactically, he's sound. He's really sound. He's been unlucky to lose some games like, um, you know, like the first leg, the Chelsea at home we had during the season. He's been unlucky. He was unlucky in that game and so many other games. But tactically, he's sound. And again, I think you can see the mentality of the players as well. He's getting into their heads as well. He is really telling them what he wants from them. He's really vocal and he's multilingual as well. He's speaking to Pepe in French. He's speaking to Bella in Spanish. He's speaking, you know, mm. And that's what you want. You know, it reminds me of Wenger a little bit. You know, Wenger was actually multilingual as well. So the communication is there and the passion is there. He's a former captain. So he's the, he's the right candidate, you know. I'm just to refer to what your, your colleague was saying about contrasting him with uh, Thierry Henry at Monaco. Yeah. Very different, you know. Your, your colleague is right. Thierry Henry, for me, wasn't ready. You can't be an assistant manager in, in, in Holland, I mean, in Belgium, where they play internationals once in three months or something, mm -hmm. you're learning on the job. He, he left under Guardiola, one of the best coaches, and he was there every day. So it's different. And that's why Thierry Henry didn't do well in Monaco. So I think that... Um, Ateta is the right candidate and he has been proven it. So hopefully he will sign off uh, this season with the trophy. Now let's wrap up with Aubameyang. A lot of talk has been going on. Rumours have it that he will be leaving the club, but nothing has been confirmed yet. As an Arsenal fan, do you think he should remain at the club? And should he be convinced to stay or should he look for, um, in quotes, silverware somewhere else? I don't think, uh, it, it, you know, we can afford to allow Abamaya leave. I think we need to give him what he wants, to mm -hmm. be honest. If you can pay Ozil 350,000 pounds a week, you can pay Abamaya something similar. He's been delivering, he's not a flop. He came in with his, if you see his stats, they speak volume. So if he wants a gold plated car, another diamond plated car, give him. If he wants a house in Chelsea, give him. Anything he wants, just give him. Yeah. Let him sign. You can't be losing your best players. Mm -hmm. That might affect the future signings coming in. So I believe that the club. Um, have a jump on their hands that so they have to convince him to stay. And I believe that maybe winning the FA Cup, he might say, okay, there's uh, hope in this club, let me say. But again, if he leaves, you can't really blame him. He's 31. He wants to win major silverware before he retires. So, But I think I'm praying that he signs. I'm really praying. All right, let's give you 10 seconds to show us how you celebrated Arsenal's win against Manchester City as a wrap-up. With the golden mic. It's you at the bottom of the bottom of the fall for snow. Because of you at the sun cut it. Sun cut it. Because of you at the bottom of the catch me if I fall. Because of you at the sun cut it. Sun cut it. Sun cut it. Thank you very much, That's Billy Chief, really for really speaking yeah. with us. And uh, of course, uh, it, was lo it was a lovely conversation with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. All right, continue to stay safe. Well, that was um, Kelechi, a big Arsenal fan over there in the UK.